I'm going to make my pudding, my chia pudding. I'm going to be using this Earthly Choice Organic Chia. This came on the Nomakita box of November. I'm going to add around one to two tablespoons. And over here, what I did was um, to warm up on the microwave almond milk and sweetened vanilla. I have in here around one cup and a half. And then let's go ahead and add, I'll say, let's go ahead and add two. You don't need to be very specific on these as much as you want. But it's very important that you let it sit in there for at least four hours. Although I like to leave it in there overnight. And then I'm going to see if I can open this with just one hand. I'm going to add the sweetener. I'm using the golden Lacanto that came on the October Nomakito box. And I like it sweet, so I'm adding two. But like I said, that's very optional. And lastly, I'm going to add some cinnamon just because that's how I like it. And all you're gonna do is you're going to stir this. And I know right now it doesn't look like good, but when you let it sit overnight, the shea seeds are going to swell up. They're gonna turn uh, a little, um, I'll say like jelly, like. They're gonna swell and this is gonna be our pudding. So I like to let it sit in there overnight with a lid on. And then um, I'm gonna show you all tomorrow the results. It's very easy to make. The organic chia seeds are very rich in omegas. Omega trees, which are healthy. And if you want more products like this, directly to your house, don't forget that you can subscribe for the December box and you will receive it on December 15, after December 15. So there you go. This one I got it from all these stores. And this is the one that I used that came on the Nomikito box of October. So that's it. I will show you all tomorrow the results. I am here with my Shia pudding overnight it. Um, this morning I was checking on it and it was still too unsweet for me. So I went ahead and added two more packets of the Lacanta monk fruit and left it in there for four more hours. Now I'm gonna show you all. I like this container, this is for like a soup container but this mug is uh, compatible with microwave and even oven, not the cap of course. but. It's just so much easier because it keeps it, it keeps it sealed and it helps helps with the shea seeds to swell faster. So there it is. Let's give it a mix. It's very nice and thick. Now I do like to drink it. Other people like to eat it like if it was um, like a let's compare it to like a yogurt for saying it that way. So if that's the case, then you need to add more chia seeds to it so that it can be thickened. But I like to drink it. Some people like it, other people don't, but I do, especially because of the benefits. And uh, also the chia seeds, as you can see, they have a lot of fiber on it. So it's very nutritious. So I only used, um, I think, two tablespoons. So I'm going to serve it and sprinkle some cinnamon on top. If you make it thicker, you can also eat it with some strawberries or blueberries. With cream on top, I'm doing dairy free. That's why I'm just gonna leave it very simple. Where it's very easy to make, it's very delicious, and it has great health benefits. So there you have it. <laughs>